The Hired Girl by Laura Amy Schlitz. It's 1911. 14 year old Joan's mother has recently died, and she has left with her three brothers and her very angry, verbally abusive father on their rural Pennsylvania farm. After Joan's dad burns her few remaining books as punishment, Joan summons the courage to run away to Baltimore. There, she realizes she is in way over her head, but is rescued by a, Jew a wealthy Jewish family. Joan is big for her age, and she tells the Rosenbachs that she is 18, old enough to be on her own in the big city, rather than her real age of 14, which would get her sent back to the farm. Joan's love of books and willingness to work land her a job as the family's hired girl, where Joan helps with the chores around the house the family can't do on the Sabbath, and she assists a very old and very grumpy housekeeper. The book is told through Joan's diary, and through that lens we see, we see Joan's doubts, her insecurities, and her wonder at her new world. In one memorable scene, Joan's hair even catches fire uh, because she is reading by candlelight. It is 1911, and even the wealthy Rosenbach family still doesn't have electricity in the house. The Hired Girl is a fascinating book. Uh, both for a historical perspective of daily life at the turn of the 20th century, as well as a coming-of-age story of a young woman who is strong and determined enough to write her own story in an age when few young women could. Check out The Hired Girl by Laura Amy Schlitz.